Hello everyone, welcome back to Programming Knowledge. So in this video, we will be continuing the series of setting Firebase in Flutter. So in the last video, we implemented Cloud Firestore into our project. It is, which means we use Firestore as a database into our application. So in the last video, I only created two methods of one of adding and another of getting. In this video, we will cover how to update and how to delete the data from the fire store. So without wasting any time, let's move on to our today's topic. So guys, you can see as this is the application which we created in the last video just uh, see this this is the app this is the list of the data and this is we can add this way now what's next in this video we will create two more methods like this one of add node and another of get nodes so i will be adding one more method which is called delete node. So it will take node and node async. So what will this do? So, but now what's the thing is that into our model, into our node model, we missing one more we need to add one more variable called uid okay this dot uid so after adding this just we need to add one more and this is step for uid and over here also we need map uid Okay, so this was the changes we need to make. Then we also need to do one thing like in the delete node, what we are going to do. In the delete node, we will be for very first creating the instance, then we will access the collection. So, in the collection which we are working in nodes, in the last video I already told you. So, now in the doc it will ask for the UID in the doc it will ask for the UID so we are getting UID from the node model as we just created so let's just enter node.uid and dot we will use a delete method and just await for this If the delete okay done so what we will get like after deleting we'll get nothing so it will just delete and we will say that dot then use then method and we will return and we'll return let's just say Let's not return anything. Let's just print. Let's just print. And we are going to print deleted successfully. And then we will call the set state. Okay. So we created the delete method also. Now, where we are going to implement this delete method? So let's come to our list view builder. Into the subtitle, we will add one more thing called trailing. In this, we will add the icon of delete. Okay. And I will pass the color black. So now you can see there is one issue error right here. What is the error? Oh, wait. So it's asking for the UID. So let's just use the date time dot now dot 
to string. This is the U UID, right? So let's just where we will be passing this. Okay. So over here, we have to make one change in the date node. We will not be passing this now in this we will be passing note dot uid okay so now it's done so because the date time dot now also returns a second so the moment the moment this line will encounter there is a chances that it will encounter at 30 second and this line will encounter at 29 second uh, oh sorry 35 second so there will be a difference in uid so we don't need that it will give a error so just correct this after that we also need so this add node is completed then now where we created the i trailing icon over here let's just instead of icon let's just use icon button so what this will do this will allow us to add the on press and it will also allow us to put the icon so this in this way let's just okay let's just control z and enter icon so now it's there. So on the on press, just call the delete note method. And which delete, which note we have to delete? Of course, the in the list of whatever the note is clicked. So from the list, we want the index one. Okay, that. So this is how we can delete any node from the database let's just let me just show you so you can see now just give the time to rotate or automatically okay just refresh it or maybe i am getting some kind of error so yes we are getting the error why we are getting this error it is because let's just open up firebase console over here let's go to the console open the notes app and you may find that there is one issue and let me tell you what's the issue the issue is that all of this are only containing title and description but what we also need the uid so let's just for now let's just delete the collection so it will delete all the respective data inside it and once again create the empty collection document id let's skip this and string value let's skip this okay so one more thing so now just recreate the collection now we won't get the error so let's add the data let's add today it is a nice day let's add it after adding you may see the data is not still yet coming so just over here you can see why it's not happening because there is one document which doesn't contain anything so we just have to remove that just remove that and now you can see we will get the data properly fetched. let's just click on that and now you can see it is coming so the api which we created let's go to android studio okay so the method which we just created so this is the error last time so over here okay so on click of the delete button the node should be deleted just click on that and wait for some time 
and let this delete okay so deleted successfully is printed so let's just go to the terminal and refresh it so now you can see it is deleted so what's very first now in the delete method you can see we did call the set state but it isn't work right so let's just not call it over here go to the delete method in the over here just add a weight over here and a sync and after that add the set state and refresh it and go to this now now let's add one more let's me let's just propose call this as well and write i am fine just add this add the data you can see the other data is added just refresh it and click on that so over here the message should be displayed yes the message is saying that it is deleted successfully now we created the deletion of deletion is successfully created now what we need we need to update the data update note this is another method which we want to create and similarly we will also create the note section over here what we are going to do we are just first very first we will initialize and we will access the notes collection dot and what will be the doc id it will be the notes uid then we will put update over here and we will use note dot from json and we will pass note over here and let's just okay not from json we will use to map so now this will add the changes so let's just await for this then so this this is how we can update the route but this is not completed yet what we are going to do on the click where away we will on the click off on tabs and on the click off we will show the dialog box and we will show the same dialog box which we created over here let's just use a same dialog box okay and up over here what we will do just uh, in the else condition after popping up we will set title controller dot text to null and description controller dot text to null then in the on tab we will display the same dialog box just over here we will write update and in the column field we will give the same thing and the title controller same just over here and the cancel it will be same and it instead of update instead of add we will write update okay now what next we also required on the click on tap we want title controller dot text should take the notes index dot title and similarly description controller dot text dot index dot description ab now what we need on the click of the button just take that note and title just take this instead of add note let's just remove this we will use 
daily node and over here we will call the node in the uid part we are going to use nodes of index dot uid like uid won't be changed okay and everything else will be changed if the user changes it so just go to the class again refresh it so there is none let's just add one note i will call it today and i will tell this not to worry and just add this so now you can see it's added just refresh it to see this and on click of the button now you can see the data is coming and the okay now before doing just cancel this and go to the firebase console and over here now you can see there is a collection not to worry today and you can see the uid is ending with 203 just go back to the here and over here let's just say tomorrow to it and update so now you can see it's updated just it's required the refresh so after refreshing let's just come over here okay so maybe there is a okay i made a mistake let's just go to the android studio and check i am getting a deleted successfully method okay so i called the deleted method right so this was my issue that instead of delete i have to call update node so where is this delete method gone so over here this was my issue that i use the wrong method so just save it and go to the console and go to the here and let's add the method again the data not to worry and this enter add after adding refresh it now you can see now instead of add we will use tomorrow now you can see that the data is saying that the it is the title is today and description is not to worry and the uid ends with 153 now after updating just refresh this and now you can see the data title is changed to tomorrow and not to worry is still there and now you can see the uid still ends with 153 so now you have understand that how to update and delete the data from the firestore this is how we can work on the firebase firestore collection so this is how we can implement the file store as a real-time database into our application. So our today's topic and the part of the file store collection is completed today. So till then, thank you.